All right, all right. Um, all right, all right, all right. Uh huh. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, uh, I welcome you all to this new beginning of our study about political science. Yeah, we are going to study something called politics, and we are going to, if someone is a good lover of political science or politics, then this is going to be the right time for you uh, to, to get engaged or to get to know uh, something about politics. Uh, we are going to study what we call political science. Uh, but, uh, into study. Science. Powered by Dolphin Media Studios. Studios. Dolphin Media Studios. Dolphin School. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this is going to be part one. Part one. Aha. Uh -huh. no, let's go. Let's start. Let's go. Let's go. Let us go. At the count of one, two, three, four. Five. Let me check first whether the sound goes through, and then we see what we can do. Oh. Yo, 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 yo. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yo, 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 yo. Mm -hmm. So, okay, okay. Yo, 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 yo. Mm -hmm. So, okay, okay, sound is clear. The sound is clear. The sound is clear. Okay, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to this uh, new study. Uh, we are going to learn what we call politics. If you are a, a good, uh, uh, if you like politics, if you would like to become a politician, uh, this is part one of what we call a uh, political science study uh, right here in Dolphin Media Studios. So, um, first of all, we are going to start with the, uh, what we call the introduction, the introduction, 
of political mm -hmm. science. My name is Fred Edwards Kabogoza, and uh, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher, as, as some people knows me as a computer teacher. Uh, some knows me as an evangelist. Others, uh, you have been following me on social media, and I'm sure you you have seen what we, what I've been doing. But uh, this time around, as I told you, I'm a teacher. Uh, not only teaching uh, computer, teaching the gospel, but I'm a teacher of so many things because I'm not for talented. What you call when I uh, when I say multiple talented, I mean God has given me talent, you know, a big and many talents that I can engage in and try to do. So, you who is watching on Facebook, uh, then there are those who are watching on on YouTube. Uh, the YouTube channel is. Uh, is a political doors television that's why you will find these teachings political doors uh television so this is where you're going to find these teachings now let us start by the introduction of our part one about political science this is going to uh go for uh 15 minutes 15 minutes after 15 minutes uh, the first streaming will end, then the second, the following streaming will be uh, the next time or maybe tomorrow. Yeah, so um, first of all, when I come up to, uh, to introduce what we call political science, I hope all of you, uh, many of you might, might, uh, might be having idea you know might be having idea on what we call uh political science or politics politics uh is it's not only uh minding about the uh your country or nation but it goes worldwide or in the entire world political science concerns about politics within your country and outside the country, other countries. Now, one, if you have a question, uh, you will post it, I mean, you will comment it in the uh, comment box, then it will be displayed on the screen. If you have a question, if you have any question, uh, you kindly uh, comment it and I'll answer the question. Now, what is po political science? If I may ask, uh, first of all, this is the definition of political science. What is political science? I'm going to, uh, to give you the definition of political science. First of all, before I go to the definition, political science uh, focuses on the theory and the practice of government and politics at the local, state, nation, and international levels understand uh, political science focuses uh, on the theory and practice practice of uh, government and politics of the at the local state international I mean national and international levels we are dedicated to developing understandings of institutions practices and relationship that constitute public life and modes of inquiry that promote citizenship. Understand? So, when you get engaged in political science, you get to understand. Uh, you get to understand, or you you will be introduced to what we call institutions the practices of uh, government organs or government firms or government institutions and relationship or relations that constitute the public. Understand? So, uh, some of the major subfields that we are going to look at, one we have, uh, we are going to start with political theory. 
Yeah, we are going to start with political theory. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Political theory is, con uh, is concerned mainly with the foundations of political community and institutions. Political theory concerns mainly with the foundations of political community. Foundation, I mean, uh, from the very, uh, uh, at the low, what, level, you know, or down in the villages. That's where politics starts. Politics are uh, in school. Actually, politics starts from schools where you will come, you know, and stand for head boy, prefect, what, what, etc., etc. You know them. When you contesting for any position in the in the school, that is it means you are engaging in politics. Understand? So politics starts uh, uh, starts from the uh, fr from schools and it goes to community levels. That's that's where you will find local council one. Then you will go for uh, youth councils. Then you go to local council two, three, five, and up to the higher level. Understand? So that's political theory. I say for it, political theory uh, concerns mainly with the foundations of political community and institutions. Understand? So if you are watching from YouTube, uh, you can... Uh, try to share the link, uh, share the link, and I will give opportunity to those who would like to get engaged in this study. You will be uh, given a chance to appear online here, uh, and they will see you. So, political science, that's what we are looking at. Now, it focuses... Uh, political theory focuses on human nature and the moral purposes of, politi of political association. Understand? It focuses on the human nature, how they behave, how they are concerned, what they need, you know, and then the moral purposes of political association. How do you associate with uh, other organs? in the country or in the nation or in the world to clarify these concepts political theorists draw on on during political writings from ancient greece to the present and on various writings by moral uh, philosophers understand uh, i said uh, to clarify these concepts, political theorists draw on, on enduring political writings from ancient Greeks, Greece to the present and on various writings by moral philosophers. <laughs> then political theory also focuses on uh, empirical research into the way political institutions function in practice. Uh, let me repeat that. Political theory also focuses on empirical research into the way political institutions function in practice. How do they function? How do political parties have to function? How do our politicians, you know, have to run the system or run the country or run the, the community? Understand? Then how do you, if you stand for, you know, you know, head boy, head girl, or head prefect in school, how do you manage, you know, to control uh, the responsibility assigned to you, you know? So you have to understand 
that if I am in this position as a leader, I am given the, the I, I am actually, I am entrusted by many people so that I can lead them and I'll, through leading them, I'll be an example. You know, I'll be an example to them. So, if at all uh, you are a leader, any leader has to be an example. Actually, I'm sorry to, uh, so excuse me to mention that uh, politics starts from school. No, politics, politics starts from home. A father and a mother, then other children. Then after, from home, it goes to school. From school, it goes to community. It goes in uh, to communities. Then from communities, it goes to uh, districts or, yeah, districts, then to other higher level. Understand? Because uh, leadership starts from home. Starts from home. Your father is a leader. So he's a politician at home. Your father, even though he doesn't engage in the national politics but at you at home he is in uh, he is a politician he is a leader the head we have uh, the uh, the head of the head of state of a country now we have head of head of family head of family and that is the father if the father is not there, the, he has to assign or he has the assistant, and that is the mother. Understand? So, um, uh, here, political theorists subject, subject beliefs about political life found in important political writings to re examination in the light of ongoing human behavior how human being behaves you know when uh, when you grow up you know when you are growing up you start you know getting you uh approaching different kind of people you know so in that process that's when maturely you grow when you grow you admire someone and then you 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 know uh you get either married then after getting married you start staying together so a man becomes a leader of that person he has got a wife i mean a wife so in that process there is a study of human behavior how do you behave at home so that is what it means here uh, political theories subject beliefs about political political life found in important uh, political writings to re-examination in the light of ongoing human behavior in either case Political theory seeks to uh, ultimately deepen political thinking about to spur citizens to responsible and creative political action. You know? So, uh, about uh, something that is called uh, Actually, the introduction to political theory provides students with an overview or uh, an overview of the main lines of thought in political theory. Advanced courses focuses on given concepts, topics, and thought in political theorizing. Now, uh, Sub, sub field 
subfield number two that we need to talk about is creative politics. Creative politics. So, uh, yeah, those watching online, mm -hmm, I don't know. Okay, no one is uh, as posted, as commented any question. Okay, maybe if you have uh, any question, you you can comment and then I'll be answering the question. So, subfield, subfield number two, we are going to look at creative uh creative politics we are going to look at creative politics so po creative politics we are going to define it as uh, okay let me pin it on the, it on a on the screen for you to get to know it Okay. Okay, creative politics is there. So we are going we are going to look at creative politics. Creative politics. First of all, what is creative politics? Creative politics um is a broad field with a variety of approaches and goals. Yeah. Create uh, uh, creative politics is a a broad field with a variety of approaches and goals you have seen a number of uh, mps LOCs, even the president coming to you asking for votes so that is approaching so they come with their manifestos their goals etc and then after they bribe you give you two thousand and you vote for them now some scholars and researchers compare contemporary politics political systems in order to judge which types best provide particular values understand now order equality freedom and economic security and well-being for the for this for their citizens others suggest that the main purpose of uh, of cooperative politics is to provide an understanding of how and why different point uh, different societies develop uh, different kinds of political institutions you know so that is another suggestion as i told you the first suggestions are, are the scholars the scholars, these are the uh, researchers, they come up and they compare, you know. Uh, co uh, they compare and judge which is the best, you know, practice, uh, particular among these, these, uh, these uh, order, equality, freedom, and economic security and well-being for, for citizens for citizens and the others suggest that the main purpose of cooperative politics is to provide an understanding of how and why different societies develop different kinds of political institutions political institutions you can call you can uh you can consider political parties yeah you can call them political parties still others use cooperative politics as a way of discovering general laws and theories that will explain human political behavior and its variability you understand and its variability so uh cooperative politics are uh, causes are of two basic types we have two basic types uh, of po uh, cooperative political courses one uh, 
one of them offers comparisons of a particular set of problems or institutions in a number of different countries. The second one uh, type offers in depth, depth analysis of the basic political institutions and processes of a single country or group of countries in a world region. We shall look at uh, these two types of, uh, of courses. Now, let us continue. Uh, okay, this is what you, you need to know. Most students will want to begin their study of cooperative politics with the introduction of uh, to cooperative politics, mm -hmm. which combines the two main approaches by including cooperative discussions of particular problem, then issues, processes, and institutions in a wide variety of political settings as well as in deep readings and lectures on some of the major ca uh, countries in the contemporary world yeah now mm -hmm. no question yet okay if you have any question you can comment it before i go to the third uh sub fields that we are going to look at and that is called international relations mm -hmm. okay let me pin it also mm, there let me pin it on the screen as well uh international relations Okay, so this is what we are going to look at, international relations. We are going to look at uh, how you can get, engage with the international um, relationship between one country to another, you know. Now, the field of international relations is concerned with developing an understanding of why states and non-state international actors like the United Nations and multinational corporations interact as they do. International relations is a, uh, is a diverse field both in terms of wha what kinds of behavior are studied and how they are studied. International conflict, particularly war, continues to be an important focus of the field. So, uh, particularly in international relations, particularly, we look at uh, wars, you know, Conflicts, those are the main, the main major fields that we look at. Mm -hmm. Why do wars start? Who wins and why? How can wars be prevented? What is the role of international law and organizations? As the world has become more... In, uh, interdependent interdependent you know so scholars have become more aware of the importance of international economic activity as a result scholars are analyzing world trade communications development foreign investment and international finance that's what the scholars uh, they are analyzing, you know. Then, 
um, how states make foreign policy decisions is another important area of study. We shall we shall look at all all of those fields. That then national security policy, nuclear uh, deterrence, arms control and defense spending decisions are typical examples of foreign policy decisions. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. So who is there? No one. Okay. You can share those watching on Facebook. Keep sharing as we continue. Uh, we are about to, to finish with these uh, with these subfields that we are going to look at in our introduction to political science. Now, students, what will a uh, student uh, learn in international relationship? Uh, this uh, introduces the student to international politics. So now, in international relations, we introduce to you what we call international politics. Now, it has gone from political theory to cooperative uh, politics, then now it go it it is now on international relations relations or international politics politics. This is the foundation for a wide variety of offerings at the three hundred and four hundred levels, such as American foreign policy, <coughs> excuse me, global <coughs> global environmental politics international political economy and international conflict yeah. understand now uh, la, uh lastly but not the least we are going to look at the uh, american government and politics let me pin it let me drop it there american government and politics so uh this is what you will study or you will learn there let me pin it on the screen so that you can see it mm -hmm. okay it is there uh-huh okay so american government and politics this is another sub a field that we are going to look at but in details we shall go on looking at one by one one by one until we finish all the one two three four five or the five uh sub fields we shall look at one by one as we we, we continue okay american government and politics Students of American government and politics seek an understanding of politics as practice, practiced in the United States. In addition to courses on the American uh, presidency, the U.S. Congress and the courts, the depend, uh, department offers specialized courses on such topics as the political law of mass media the politics of race and the ethic uh ethnics uh constitutional law policy formation state politics and american political thought mm -hmm. some of the some of the blo uh, bloody questions that concern students in this field are how and why did the American political institutions, ideas, and practices develop as they have? Mm -hmm. Question number two. How does one go about evaluating them? Number three. Are American political institutions, ideas, and practices unique or are they similar to other societies then how might american 
politics, politics be improved? So, in this study, we will introduce to you to uh, we will introduce you to American politics, which is recommended uh, preparation for most other courses in American politics to acquire first-hand ex uh, experience with the American political system. Students are encouraged to practice in academic leadership or internships in Washington, D.C., Olympia, and Seattle. So that's why you, you will have to, when we are on this course or when we are in uh, studying this course of American government and politics, you will have to do your internships in Washington, D.C., Olympia, and Seattle. Then lastly, as we finish up our first uh, introduction to political science, uh, lastly, we are going to look at uh, political methodology. This is political methodology. Let me drop it on the screen so you can see it. Mm -hmm. Here we are going to look at, uh, okay, let me drop it. Here we go. So, okay, political methodology. What is political methodology? The subfield of political methodology is concerned with the uh, the philosophical basis <clears throat> okay excuse me let me repeat it the subfield of political methodology is concerned with the philosophical basis of political science uh, social science uh, empirical research design and analysis and practical field research experience courses in the field in the political methodology field cover uh, philosophical issues regarding the possibility of a science of politics uh, the similarities and differences between political science and other social sciences alternative modes of explanations and the truth of knowledge claims. They are, uh, they are also examine the formulation of experimental and non-experimental research designs, <coughs> designs for making courses, uh, for making casual inference, inferences and about political uh, processes and behavior and explore the, the use of statistics, mathematics, and computers for the analysis of political data generated by such research designs. Students are also provided uh, an opportunity to conduct individual group uh, research projects through seminars, etc., conferences, etc. The political methodology focused have currently research and teaching in interests in such diverse topics as mass media feminist theory language politics political economy uh, relational choice theory and public policy so uh if you would like to get uh, a copy of this introduction to political science, uh, kindly uh, I'm going to drop the email. Uh, actually, I will post tomorrow the email for our online training. Uh, then you will write to us via our email and then 
we shall be forwarding, forwarding you this theory. Then, um, this is uh, this is our online training about political science. We shall have what we call uh, another course about computer science and technology. That is that will be another course of study. So. This is just part one of our introduction to political science. Uh, kindly visit our YouTube. Our YouTube channel is, <coughs> excuse me, our YouTube channel is Political Doors Television. So you can visit there and then subscribe to our YouTube channel and then you will have more and more and more. So uh, until tomorrow, thank you for watching, those who have been watching on facebook and youtube uh stay tuned tomorrow it will be another deep study about the fields the political fields that we have uh started with today yeah bye bye